Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, if you are new here, I am Courtney and I talk to you about BOLO items, items you can buy low and sell high. These items are a part of my 50 Unexpected BOLO series. And basically what I do is I share BOLO items in my BOLO Buddies Facebook group. And after usually probably, I don't know, two to three weeks after the items end, I know a lot of times people will like look at the listings and then forget to go back to see what they finally sold for. So I'm making a video that's gonna share with you those items after the auctions have ended. So these are big money BOLO items. A lot of them are unexpected, but if you're in my Facebook group, you may have seen them before, but this is a video refresher. And usually in Facebook groups, like you don't see every post anyway, you just get, they're hit and miss what you see. So this is part four. Um, if you haven't seen part one, two, and three, definitely go check those out. And we're going to get started with these big money bolos. And I do mean big money. So these are items that you definitely need to be looking for when you're sourcing. I know that I am. And I started the Facebook group to learn. And um, I started the YouTube channel to learn because I used to only sell clothing. So uh, I am now a bolo finder. I love finding bolo items, but I sell hard goods now. So let's get started. The first item is an item that I'm not going to share with you. And the reason why is, is because when I went back to look at the item, it said relisted this item, which means the buyer probably didn't pay and it probably didn't sell for that much. So this item is relisted. Um, it did sell for 560, but I'm guessing it was non-payment. So if you click on relisted item, you can see here that the item ended up selling for $455 um, with 28 bids. So here's another thing you can do, just a little teaching moment. We're gonna go into their feedback and we are gonna type in Romeo and see if feedback's been left. Um, so no feedback has been left yet, but the sale just ended on March 7th. So it probably hasn't been delivered yet. So that's not a good way to check. But if you're looking at another item and you wanna see if the sale went through, that's a good way to go check because eBay now allows us to search feedback with a keyword, which I love. All right, so let's get into these 50 bolos. The first item are these vintage fine quality purple lavender jadeite uh, clip on earrings. And they put clip earrings. Yeah clip they're calling them clip they almost look like those don't look like clip on earrings do they i want to see what they look like open they look like shoe clips or something anyway they're selling them as clip earrings for 356 dollars and 51 cents 22 bids buyer paid shipping the next item is this blythe doll and i think i've shared this one before but I asked and somebody said there was something on the back that you pull to make the eyes change colors, but I'm not seeing that on her back. Is it lower? Oh, oh, this one's on her head. So does it vary by doll or maybe they meant the back of her head? But yeah, you pull on that string and her eyes change colors. Isn't that different? It's kind of cool and it's kind of creepy all at the same time. $1,586, 58 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Turkey Call Makers Past and Present book. And it's vintage and it does look like it's signed. So um, that could have increased the value of this one. But I feel like they should have put like signed in the title or something like that. But this sold for $555, 83 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lego Dragon Masters new old stock Lego set. 44 bids, sold for $850 and the buyer paid shipping. How amazing is that for a Lego set? The next item that sold is this Pyrex dish. Now, I shared this one in my Facebook group and I had a lot of comments 
And people were saying that it wasn't the pattern that was special, but the pattern on this shape of bowl. So whatever that means, I have no idea. Um, I don't even know if they were correct, but that was some of the feedback that I got as to why this went for so much. It sold for $2,026 with 41 bids plus shipping. So if you guys know anything about this Pyrex bowl, please put info down in the comments so that we can all go check the comments. The next item that sold are these Barbies. Um, this actually still has 22 hours left. Let me see if it updated. Yeah, 22 hours left. Now, my question for you guys is, and the reason I included this is because um, I didn't have 50. <laughs> so I had to pull some that were active and I was hoping they would end by the time I recorded, but they didn't. Um, would you guys have listed these individually or as a lot like this? I feel like I would have listed them individually, but I'm looking at what the buyer is getting, or I mean the seller is getting, and it's at $865. So, I mean, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve dolls. So, I mean, they're still getting a pretty penny. So, I don't know. I'm not a Barbie. I don't know tons about Barbies. I like selling Barbies, but I'm still learning. So like, I know that's a bubble cut up there and, but I mean, that one's got green ear. And if you guys want to learn more about like how to uh, like clean the Barbies up and different things like that about Barbies, go to my reseller treasure. Is that it? I always mess up her name. Um, I think that's it. My reseller treasure. Let me check Instagram. I've got that pulled up on my phone. I can find her real quick. Her name is Brandy and she is fantastic, but I can never remember. Or I always question myself. Yeah, my reseller treasure. I don't know why I was questioning myself. That's her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. Uh, the next item is this. Oh, it ended, but they didn't pay. So, uh, $223.50. It was one shoe only. And it sold um, with 38 bids. So, they relisted this item. Let's go in and look. And it's currently at $40. But it is one shoe. Apparently, it's some sample shoe. Um, but I was like, why would they use the tag as the main photo? And somebody in the group said, because that tag has all the important information. So I don't know. I guess people can buy one shoe. I've sold a baby shoe that was one shoe, but it was like an antique, uh, like Victorian style boot. Um, hard to find. Somebody may have had the match. The next item that sold is this vintage, and this one still has 21 hours also. 1966 Peanuts vinyl uh hungerford pilot it's a little snoopy figure it's currently at 110 dollars, and the buyer will pay the shipping on this again i don't typically show you the active auctions i wait until they end for this video but i was a few short so that's why i did it that way the next item that sold is this vintage bon bell roll-on shiner it's got 16 hours left. It's currently at $80. Do any of you guys remember using this as a kid? Um, and was it $88 great? <laughs> I just want to know. The next item that sold is this rare 2010 vintage. So that's what's up for discussion in my Facebook group. They're like, that's not vintage. And I'm like, yeah, 2010 is really not vintage. Retired is a better word. They used retired here, but it, I don't know what this is. It says yarn doll, but it's not yarn. It's like some sort of figure. I don't know if it's resin or wood or what it's made of, but it is a big money item. There's actually another one that I saw that was listed and it is also going for a lot of money. So people must collect them. It's currently at $296 with 33 bids and the buyer will pay the shipping. The next item was sent to me from a person in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So I invite you guys, if you ever have a eBay auction, 
with bids that you picked up cheap and are selling for a good profit, please feel free to message me on Facebook um, using Messenger with that link and I will share it for you guys and get you some exposure for your item. And it also helps people in the Facebook group learn. And as if I continue this series, which I hope to do, um, I plan to do unless somebody's like, I hate it or multiple people hate it. Um, but so far the, I'm getting really good views on it and I'm getting good feedback. So I think I'll continue it. Um, but somebody sent me this in the Facebook group. They got it for $5 at a yard sale. It is a Homer Laughlin Fiesta small vase and it sold for $69 plus shipping. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. So definitely check out Fiesta if you see it. Um, just look it up and see what they're selling for. The next item is this 1960 vintage Rolex hang tags. Um, it's like a wax seal hang tag. You guys, this sold for $829, 58 bids, buyer paid shipping. Now, I know with the Rolex boxes, people have told me that you can't sell a Rolex like original case. I don't know if that's true. I've never researched it. I don't know if this is considered the same thing. So my advice to you would be call eBay and ask them before you list it or don't put it on eBay, sell it somewhere else because um, you definitely don't want to compromise your eBay account. And again, if I ever show a Bolo item, there's always a chance that somebody got away with something that they weren't supposed to because there's so many items on that Vero list. So definitely do your homework. Um, I, I try not to list things that I know are um, not allowed on eBay. And if I know they're not, I will tell you guys, like if somebody shares it on my Bolo live show, I'll be like, oh, I wouldn't list that. I've heard some things. Um, but again, it's just, it's kind of one of those gray areas sometimes. The next item is this lot of 222 vintage uh, mechanical pencils. And this auction just ended um, today at 326. So my uh, screen updated there. These sold for $305. So somebody had a nice collection of mechanical pencils and decided to get rid of them. This could have been an, an estate find or something like that. Um, I don't know. Things like this, you can pick up pretty cheap sometimes. So 305, 71 bids, $16 to ship. The next item is um, another one of those lip smackers. And this one has 15 hours left and it's at $222. And if you go into this seller's store, they have a bunch of this stuff listed. They like hit the lip smacker, vintage lip gloss, whatever jackpot. And if you go to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and look for this listing, you can click on it and then go in and see sellers other items if you want to see what else. There's a lot of Bolos. Uh, 15 watchers still on this, but it's at currently at $222. The next item is this vintage Disneyland New Orleans Caribbean condiment jar. And this sold for $455, 43 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item I thought was really, really cool. It's a lot of six vintage 80s Reagan years White House egg roll wooden Easter. So they're like wooden Easter eggs. How funny is that? I mean, it's not really funny, but it's kind of funny. They're from the White House. I thought these would go more, actually. They sold for $256.78 plus shipping. Here's another one where I feel like I would have sold these items individually, but again, I'm not. I think I've sold that Barbie head, the one with the headband. I think I've sold her head only before. Um... But yeah, I feel like the buyer probably could have got more selling them individually. Uh, they sold them for $446 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 90s Sailor Moon disguise pin. Um, yeah, this one sold for a lot of money. Uh, I, I think that this Sailor Moon stuff is collectible. So if you see Sailor Moon, definitely look it up. This sold for $390 plus shipping. The next item, oh, I already did this one. Maybe you're only getting 49 bolos. Sorry, guys. Um, this, I love this. I love it. 
So it's a uranium glass ring. Have you ever seen anything like it? It's so cool. I mean, that is cool. You have got to admit that that is cool. Let me know if you think that the uranium ring is awesome. And go into um, eBay and look up uranium rings. They're like a thing. I don't know what that is. CPM. Hmm. I don't know what that's testing for. But this sold for $307.78 plus shipping. So if you see a green ring, I guess black light test it and see. Pretty cool, right? The next item that sold is this Golden Astronaut Moon Exploration Space Playset. Uh, pretty cool. Sold for $122. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage cotton batting hand quilted embroidered basket flower quilt. So it's got the flower baskets um, as the print. I feel like my grandma had one of these for some reason, but this sold for $455 plus shipping. The next item is huge, uh, 520 pieces. And I did look at this person's store and they do sell Barbie items. So I'm really shocked that they lotted all of this up. Um, but I guess if they sell Barbies, they know what they're doing. Look at all those heads. This is a huge lot. Massive. Just amazing. Wow. Uh, $1,720 is what this sold for and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is another vintage Barbie. This is a number two Barbie. Um, I think, uh, is she a ponytail? I can't tell. I get confused. She might be a ponytail Barbie. I don't know what she's called. Don't quote me on that. But she does have a ponytail. She's in pretty good shape. Uh, her makeup looks pretty good. She sold for $5,650 with 46 bids. And Barbie collectors, let me know what she's called because. Um, I don't know if she's a ponytail Barbie. She might not be. The next item is this hard to find vintage Pyrex eyes carafe with lid turquoise HTF hard to find. And the reason I'm telling you that is because I didn't always know that. So there may be somebody that doesn't know that. So I'm just sharing that with you. Hard to find. O O A K is one of a kind. This sold for $250.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Zippo lighter. It's a high polish chrome military, it says. Sold for $990 plus shipping. The next item are these huge lot of Viewmaster reels. Uh, sold for $265 and the buyer paid shipping. It looks like a lot of them have the packaging, so I'm sure that helps. I don't know. I guess be on the lookout. The next item that sold is this Nirvana in utero t-shirt. It's super rare. And that's what it looks like. And it sold for $3,900 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Pyrex glass turquoise white balloon chip and dip set. Sold for $359 buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage antique stifle junior fabric overalls, preteen child never worn. So, um, I would say that adult clothing sells for more money. So if these would have been adult size, who knows what they would have went for, but they went for $427 and 52 cents plus shipping. The next item is this um, T twist and turn TNT is twist and turn Mario flip Barbie Burnett perfect coloring 1969 no fade sold for $577 and 77 cents 47 bids buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this Lisa Frank vintage peekaboo mushroom lunchbox. Like I said, Lisa Frank is a bolo. If you see it, definitely grab it. Look it up. Um, comps should be good, but if not, you're still going to make some money probably as long as you get it for a good price. Bolo item, $197.50 plus shipping. 
The next item that sold is this rare 1986 vin vintage constrictor Marvel Secret Wars action figure made in France, sold for $95 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Honda service manual, and it sold for $127.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these roller skates. Roller skates definitely range. These are not in great condition. That's what I wanted to show you. And they still sold for $172.50. You can also sell the wheels. Um, so definitely um, look up skates if you see them because they can definitely be a bolo. The next item that sold are these magazines. And they sold for $296.57 bids buyer paid shipping. These are hip hop, rap, R&B music magazines. And I will tell you that Primetime Treasure Hunter on YouTube lots up magazines all the time. Um, he's done like the muscle builder, like muscle building. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones, but definitely check out his channel. Check out his Instagram also, Primetime Treasure Hunter, because he shares his Bolo sold items there. And I always see the magazines. So definitely check that out. This vintage B&G Bing and Grottle porcelain pug dog figurine sold for $147.50 with 51 bids plus shipping. There's the mark on the bottom. Super cute. Um, I would say this would appeal probably to the people that collect that brand and also people who collect pugs. Vintage Disney map. That's the title. Sold for $213.50 plus shipping. Anything Disney, look it up for sure. Um, that's cool. It's got all the different little paperwork items that go with it. I don't know if I'd um, Mary. I uh, wonder how Mary feels about that. All right. The next item is this 1985 Vintage Garbage Pail Kids first series unopened. $334, 48 bids. It's one pack, guys. The next item that sold is this vintage 1975 Dungeons and Dragons white box fifth printing book sold for $406 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price fun with food for little tykes, wedding cake, mixer and cookies. I love this bolo. Um, I love selling toys. I don't know if I would have sold these as a lot. It seems like a lot to put in a box, but the seller did pretty well. I don't know if they would have sold better separately. What do you guys think? Sold for $235.49 buyer paid shipping. The next item is a silver tone radio model vintage as is for parts or restoration. This sold for $341 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this huge Polly Pocket Disney Magic Kingdom figurine Cinderella. I actually, um, Peter Pan. I actually thought this would go for more. And when I put this in my Facebook group, it was much lower. So it did get some, um, it did get more bids as it was posted longer. Maybe it was like a bidding war, but right before it ended, but there's a, this is a pretty decent size lot and there's a lot of figures and it only went for $117. I probably would have parted it out. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think about that one? Let me know in the comments. This uh, vintage steel chainsaw trucker farmer hat sold for $92 plus shipping. Trucker hats are definitely a bolo. Uh, they range though from bread and butter to big money. So definitely um, look them up. Vintage lace seems to be trending right now too. Um, I keep seeing a lot of those when I'm searching for auctions. This one sold for $275 plus shipping. The next item is another quilt. This is the Feathered Stars Broken Star Vibrant Fire Brick Red Quilt. Sold for $373 plus shipping. This is one, you know, I know I didn't know quilts went for such big money. So definitely be on the lookout. I mean, I do now since I, you know, do do these shows and stuff, but I feel like before. All right, this Lisa Frank backpack, an, a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group sent this to me and asked me to share it in the group, and I did, and it's an awesome Bolo, and they also shared it at the Bolo live show, which is great. So they're definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, getting involved and helping others learn, and I definitely appreciate that. This sold for $127.50, and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item that sold are these vintage 1936 Alexander dolls. Um, this was another one where the, I think the buyer didn't pay and it was relisted when um, it went through the second round of auction. It did sell for less, but it still sold for $245.50 plus shipping. And the last item is this antique Schultz and Fisher sterling silver Cleopatra cake saw serrated knife. Great keywords, beautiful knife, very, very fancy. This sold for $161.38 plus shipping. All right, you guys. Those are the 50 bolos from my Facebook, Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Um, again, there were a few people from, um, my Facebook group that shared, if you would like to share, definitely reach out to me on Facebook. If you have an auction with bids and if you miss that opportunity, you can always come to the Bolo live show on Wednesday night, 10 PM Eastern standard time and share your Bolo there in the chat. Um, it's a live show and it's audience, audience viewer participation. So definitely come check that out every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment. And if you know somebody who could benefit from this video, please share it out. Feel, feel free to tweet it, Pinterest it, Facebook it. Get it out there. Thanks for watching. And if you share the video, comment below. I shared so I know. All right, you guys. Thanks so much.